Hello everyone and welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we are doing a very, very exciting video and I cannot wait to take you guys through this process with me. I wanted to film a online shop with me video to kind of show you guys why I buy certain pieces, what my thought process is when I'm shopping and buying new clothes and just investing in my wardrobe, doing a little revamp with my appearance. And so I thought not only am I going to do an autumn try on haul for you guys in this video when all of my clothes arrive, but I thought I'm going to sit here with my laptop, show you guys what's on my screen, which places I'm going to shop at. Anytime I hear of a new clothing brand that I like, or again, ad for a clothing brand, I look at them and I'm like, you know what, that's kind of cute. I'd want to shop there. I have made it a habit to start linking those websites in a note in my um, MacBook. So I am going to be going through each of these links today and we're going to see what we come away with. Let's go for the first link. This place is called Qua Clothing. This purple cape jacket though, immediately yes. This top as well is so cute but I just know I will never ever get wear out of that in autumn. Next up is one of my new favorite brands that I've been looking at a lot. My friend introduced me to this brand in New York and I've been obsessed ever since. I've really been on my like shoe vibe recently. I love these heels. You can't go wrong with a black heel but this like thick leather strap I feel like makes it so much more statement. I've actually been looking for a heel like this and I love that it's closed toe. It's not bad, it's just like I've seen this before, you know what I mean? Like, can you wow me? Give me something I've never seen, like... Okay, next up, we're gonna do Skims and get all the basics out of the way. Honestly, I've shopped from Skims maybe two or three times over the last two years. I am obsessed to this day. Every single thing I own from them is still in top-notch quality. This is what I wanted, like a turtleneck mini dress. So easy to just throw on. I know it's gonna snatch me. I know the quality is gonna be there. I feel like the black is pretty basic. I could just put my black skirt and black turtleneck together. So that's just a waste of money. But this brown, I have to get another one of their turtlenecks because it's such a go-to for me. And it will be perfect for the colder months. I do own a white turtleneck, but I just think I got a cheap one and I've never worn it because I hate the material. So I definitely want to upgrade to one that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Next up has to be my absolute fave and where I know I'm going to be doing the most damage. We've got to sit up for this one. <gasps> so now is where I start searching for all of the things that I've actually like been needing in my wardrobe where I think like I really want that. So one thing has been leather, like lace up trousers, 383. These are really cool. Oh, boom, even cheaper. This is the thing I love about Revolve as well. You'll see something that you'll love and it will be so expensive. And if you just keep searching for that same type of clothing, another brand will literally sell the exact dupe for so much cheaper on the same website. Let's do skirts since that's what I really do need. We'll do short here. Like, why am I so in the screen? This is, I'm too excited right now. Oh, so even though these two are very similar, why do I like the more expensive one? And one thing I've learned is if you are leaning to the more expensive one, it's better to invest your money in that because otherwise you're going to eventually make more money and then just end up rebuying the same thing, like the original version of the dupe anyway. <gasps> this turtleneck top and it's on sale. Absolutely. This belt is a bit of me. It's giving Chanel and it's £50. I actually have some of these super short shorts in black and I get a lot of wear out of them. It's really nice for layering outfits or just wearing underneath something that's a little bit short. So I think having it in nude would be really practical. And then this, right. I know this looks a little bit crazy, but this is so worth the price to me because I've been looking for a super cool like tool skirt like this for years and I've never found one that I've liked enough. Okay, I should really get off Revolve right now because I'm loving everything I see and there's already 15 things in my basket which are all quite expensive each. So, oh my God, I literally cannot stop scrolling. But let's move on to the next place before I literally drain my bank account. Okay, no, we're gonna go to the next place. The next place on the list was Kai Collective, but there's one thing that I've been thinking about on this website for ages, and that is why I'm giving myself permission to buy it. One um, money-saving rule that I've learned when it comes to buying clothes is if you see something you like, you have to give yourself three days before you buy it. <gasps> Sold out. No, I've been waiting. Wait, maybe I can pull off an excess in this, actually. It looks quite stretchy. Okay, we're just gonna do an excess because I'm not playing about this skirt. Next up is because of Alice. I haven't bought from this brand in a long time, but I always know they have some really good staple pieces. 
Like, I do not care. I will spend hours sifting through every single website so then I know when I make my decision, I've seen every single thing they offer. <laughs> it's quite the waste of time. Okay, we're gonna do this place next because I've seen this on Instagram too and they look amazing. Ooh, oh, okay, the organza, yes. Okay, I have to make a little trip to Demelia because I feel like all of their bags just scream autumn vibes and I have a few already and I just absolutely love them. They're so practical for a girl like me that's always carrying around like her laptop and her filming equipment literally everywhere. Cool, so I'm just gonna do one last run through of everything that I'm definitely gonna buy, order everything, and then next week, once all of the packages have arrived, I will continue this vlog, show you guys everything, what I'm gonna keep, if I'm gonna return everything, what it looks like, how I'm gonna style it, and just do a complete autumn winter clothing try on haul. It's unboxing and try on time. After I finished recording the last clip of me doing online shopping, a few things actually changed. I went back, I took some things out of my cart, and then I actually shopped from a few places that you guys didn't see at all, e.g. Meshki. So let's get into it. And I really want to start with the biggest one. Are we ready? When have you ever seen a bag like this? I love the fur detail. It's so autumn winter coated, makes you look so bougie and would definitely elevate any outfits. I actually shopped at Menir Dwar, which you guys did not see, but this place is just my absolute favorite. So it's just this leather ruched mini skirt. I have a midi version of this, which I get a lot of wear out of, but I think even this with like a basic t-shirt, a leather jacket, a large furry coat layered on top of winter is really nice. Next up, I bought from Tala. I've never ordered from this brand before. So I just got this super basic chocolate brown long sleeve bodysuit. And the reason this called out to me, although I really, really like skims, is that this range from Tala is actually shape that you can wear outside. So it's basically designed to like lift you up, cinch you in, all of that. And then the other thing I got from Tyler is a super basic nude strappy bodysuit. This is Kai Collective and this is the red skirt that I've been wanting for ages. It's just such a cool, unique design and that is what I'm all about. I feel like you could style it in the day with an oversized t-shirt or even autumn winter like sweater layered on top. I feel like you could style it at night with a pair of heels and a bodysuit. Next up, we actually have this Indian brand called Quark Clothing. And you guys saw the only thing I got from that was this gorgeous purple satin trench coat. While it's not the most practical because obviously it is a thinner coat, I like that I can wear it in literally every season. I already know this is gonna be so good. Oh! What? I'm not the biggest fan of ribbed clothing, so that really sucks, but hopefully it looks a little bit more seamless when you put it on. Hopefully it was designed to be that way. Having said that, it is a super staple wardrobe piece, the turtleneck, long sleeve, super warm, and you look super nice without having to worry about which items of clothing to layer together. And then lastly from Skims, see this is the material I like. It's super smooth and stretchy, it's not ribbed, but I got this white fits everybody um, turtleneck bodysuit. So first up is this cropped long sleeve turtleneck in this mesh material with this like satin strip here. Tool skirt, this is so Halloween-y. So I think it's super cute for the season, but I would honestly wear this all the time. I think it's so cute and funky, just such an amazing play on a basic black skirt, which obviously you can pair with anything. This is definitely what I'm most excited for. I love this color. I find it really easy to style. I love that it's got the cargo design pockets. Also from Revolve, we have the Adidas bodysuit. Love that. Then we have this white crochet holy skirt. Really cool. So it's kind of giving the same vibe as the Kai red skirt but I think this is a little bit more winter vibes. And then we have the nude shorts I got. I've been looking for something like this for ages, especially four pieces like this, where you kind of just want some layering underneath. Okay, now what I was most excited for, these lace-up leather trousers. I do already own leather trousers, but I just love this Isla lace-up feature. I think it's so cool. This is actually from IMG on Revolve. Then I got this waist belt, which is giving Chanel vibes. Really, really nice. It was actually a lot bigger than it looked on the website, which I really like. And then I also got this beige cropped tie, long sleeve. Like, I love how wide and flowy these sleeves are. Shirt, really, really cool. It's giving a little bit of a varsity vibe with the shape of it and the materials at the bottom. 
um, but I think this is really nice just to throw on and also just one of those jackets that you can also wear through every single season. I also picked up this sleeveless high neck zip belted mini khaki dress from a brand called Super Down on Revolve. This I love. <gasps> Look at this print you guys. Also from Revolve this mesh like really colorful turtleneck and I just thought this is a really nice way to incorporate color and print and boldness into the colder months and then I also got this white skirt. I have been on the hunt for the perfect white mini skirt for so long. The reason I ended up going with this one from Revolve is because of the slightly curved hem on the bottom. I think that that's really nice and then also the belt loops um, on the waist is really really important for when you want to give your skirt a different look and add a little waist belt to it. And now it's shoe time! Oh my god immediately yes it's giving mob wife vampire autumn winter baddie i was online searching for a denim trench coat because i've not been able to get the idea out of my head and i desperately want one weirdly boohoo was selling the perfect one so i immediately picked it up this shade is perfect it's maxi length i love all of the distressed details and then the only other thing i got from boohoo was this white i think this is like shearling material aviator jacket with the black details you can buckle it up at the neck here. We only have three more boxes to go, but let's start with Meshki. This jumper was definitely the main part of my Meshki haul. I think that this is gonna be so flattering. This Bardo knit jumper, so warm, so functional, basic enough that I know I'll be wearing it for years on end. I got the exact same jumper, but in the shade white. I actually don't have many sweaters in my collection whatsoever because I normally, I just find them really hard to style and I feel like I never get good outfits from just having bulky sweaters in my wardrobe but stuff like this where it's a little bit more stylish it's got a little bit more of a design to it i'm all here for it also from meshki i got this slinky material sleeveless just basic top it's not a bodysuit next up we have the brand 24 i have been dreaming of a blue fur coat for many years of my life i have to put this on right now while i'm sitting here <gasps> ah it's such a gorgeous shade of blue it's honestly giving Cookie Monster vibes. The Frankie shop. And I wanted to save this till last because this is the only brand in the entire haul that I've never purchased from before. Oh, I actually got two things from here, I forgot. So first I'll start with this one, this chocolate brown sheer long oversized shirt. I love it. I would even wear this open without the buttons, just put it on top of a tank. A gray trench coat that's sheer so unique you know i love my staple unique pieces that no other brands do it's why i'm kind of so over shopping at high street places now but definitely something i will be wearing all year round and that's everything finished for this autumn winter 2024 clothing haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it i'm super happy with all the pieces i got i feel like as the years go by i'm definitely getting more intentional with the with the pieces i buy because now i understand my personal style so well over the last few years i've definitely made so many mistakes in just buying clothes because i think they look cute and they're not thinking too much about it and while the first half of this vlog was very short and quick to the point once I've added everything to my basket I definitely do go back and I question how much where am I gonna get out of this can I think of at least five outfits I would style this piece in and I'm very content that every single one of these pieces of clothes I got today fits that criteria isn't just like a quick fad or trend and are just pieces that are super close to my heart that I know I'm going to be able to style for a long time if you guys do want to see how I'm going to be wearing every single one of these pieces and how I'm going to be styling it in an outfit then you can follow me on Instagram at Tamcore that's why I always post all of my outfit pictures and stories please comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece of clothing that I showed in this haul I would love to know what your personal styles are what you liked and why um, but other than that I will see you guys same time next week on Sunday for a brand new video. Bye!